Uh, thank you, thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm just going to say just a couple of words, uh, just to introduce what, what we're doing. We were closed for uh, ten weeks or so, and we're closing again uh, for the next two minutes. Uh, and we've in, 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 invited Brendan McNeil from Murphy's to come along, and uh, John Richard. Uh, jo John's been a, a councillor, a town councillor with us for 50 years. Uh, and he's Richard, I'm telling you, it's long now, but he's going to get there, he's going to say a few words as well. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Richard. Uh, Richard, also from Murphy's, who was the project manager. And as you know, Murphy's were, were very helpful. They had a hard job to do with closing everything, but they were very cooperative and helped as much as they could. Well, the interest in the railways goes back to the 1940s. At that time, the railways were extensively used for carrying goods around the country. And at the destination station, they were then delivered to shops and other premises by horses and carts. And at Oxford Station, my grandfather was the chief goods clerk and was responsible for making everything work. I remember as a little boy going for a treat to see the stables where the horses um, lived. Uh, some of you may remember Spare. For many years I had an interest in the High Peak and Hope Valley Community Rail Partnership. And, uh, today I'm very pleased to be able to take part in this ceremony. Thank you for attending.